So right now we are done with our designs and we are going to focus on, on the animation part of this video. So there are some couple things you are going to be making use of and these are the things that are imported here. We have the easing, we have the use code, condition and a number of things. So as we move on, you're going to have a better understanding on, on how they work. And also lastly, we imported tab gesture handler and also the state of the tab gesture handler that is going to uh, determine whenever we click or going to recognize whenever we tap on our application and then we can make use of the values to interpolate our values or set our transition to do one thing or the other. So beneath here, I'm going to define an animation called zoom. Now this animation is going to be making use of what we call the use ref. So if you're familiar with React Hawks, you should understand what I'm doing. Now in the zoom ref, we are going to define a zoom animation. Now the zoom animation is going to be making use of the current value that we get from the zoom ref, which is going to be, uh, sorry guys, let me check something. Which is we are going to be making use of with spring transition. So with spring transition, it's uh, for us to have a cool effect, something like a bounce effect, and that's exactly what you're making use of on React Native Red Apps. Now it's going to accept the spring utilities. Now which is going to make use of the default configuration. Then uh, let's just set overshoot campaign to true and also let's set the dampen to a new animated with value zero so right now we are not making use of this zoom animation the way we can make use of it is to come over to our logo its component and pass a prop called zoom now this prop is going to make use of the zoom animation now we want that whenever the app opens that the zoom should scale in something like zoom in so we have to go over to the zoom. We can use the structuring to grab this effect. Then we can come over to the, the illustration itself. We can pass a transform value. We can pass an array with a scale of zoom. So let's save that to see what we have. And refresh. So our application is about to open. And there's nothing happening because there is something we've not added. That's because we've not make use of this animation. So for us to make use of the animation, we need to come beneath this and, and uh, we need to define a use code. The use code that we imported from reality we animated, which is going to accept a callback. Now the callback is going to check for a condition, and the condition comes from reality we animated, which is going to be making use of the equals value. Now the equals value is going to check the zoom.current. Now, if this zoom.current is zero, all we simply want to do is to set the zoom.current to one. And we want to run that whenever the app opens. So let's save that once more and refresh our application. So right now, application will open. And you can see we are having a reanimated value that is just animation. Uh, we just have to come here and add this to two. Uh, so that we can easily stop that and you can see whenever our application refreshes you can see the zoom effect takes uh, perfectly fine so you can see that smooth and cool animation so that's how we can animate for the value now we want the form input also the the we want to animate the login button itself whenever we click on this so in the next video, we're going to animate that. So thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and also the subscribe button.